Around 80,000 workers of the 41 factories of the Ordnance Factory Board have started a month-long general strike, after talks between the trade unions and the central government on the proposed corporatization of Ordnance Factories had failed yesterday. The chairman of Ordnance Factory Board has said that the proposed corporatization will enable the Ordnance Factories to respond faster to the futuristic needs of the armed forces and boost the export potential of its products. The move could positively improve quality and reduce costs, and also provide opportunities to the Ordnance Factory to enter into joint ventures with the private sector and work jointly on new technologies. Top experts have said that the recent approval by the Defense Acquisition Council for the procurement of DRDO developed software defined radio technology is the best solution for the desired tactical communication needs of the armed forces. The Indian Navy will be the immediate beneficiary of this indigenous technology, as it will help to achieve faster real-time data transfer. This indigenous technology will also be available for the Indian Army and Indian Air Force, providing improved transfer of voice and video information, which will enable troops carrying handheld man portable devices, and will also enable to operate swarm unmanned aerial vehicles. As per latest media reports, the DRDO has handed over the design of mobile metallic ramp to the Indian Army, which has a load-bearing capacity of 70 metric ton. It is portable and modular in design, which can be easily assembled or disassembled. The mobile metallic ramp will reduce the strategic mobility time for armored and mechanized units and formations of the Indian Army. In a bid to keep an eye on Chinese movement in the Indo-Pacific region, India and France are ready to sign a pact on maritime surveillance during the upcoming visit of Prime Minister Modi to France. India and France have planned the launch of a constellation of 10 satellites, which will focus on a region that has been witnessing increasing Chinese presence. Prime Minister Modi will hold talks with French President Emmanuel Macron to strengthen strategic ties in key sectors such as defense and nuclear energy. As per latest reports, the Indian Space Research Organization will help United Arab Emirates to launch its first spacecraft in July 2020, and this will be discussed during the visit of Prime Minister Modi to UAE later this week. The UAE Space Agency and the ISRO have set up a joint working group regarding this mission, and the probe will be launched with the help of Indian Space Agency, which is scheduled to reach Mars orbit in the first quarter of 2021, to collect over 1000 GB of new data on the Red Planet.